tonight on The National. Blogger exposed. A Canadian model goes after an anonymous online tormentor who's anonymous no longer. The National. Here is Diana Swain. That story shows the damage people can do online, pulling pranks, committing fraud, or worse, all while hiding under the cover of anonymity. But a judge has removed that veil, ruling that Google identify a person who posted toxic blogs about a Canadian woman. Ron Charles reports. Canadian model Liskula Cohen is used to appearing in public, but it was her appearance on a blog that made her take on web giant Google. Cohen won a New York court case requiring Google to identify an anonymous blogger who called her some awful names. I hope it does change the way people talk on the internet and the way they voice their sometimes nasty opinions about others. I think that people should have to think twice. The blog has long since been removed, but the judgment notes that it had been titled Skanks of NYC. It exclusively targeted Cohen, calling her the skankiest in New York City, describing her as a psychotic, lying, whoring skank. The judge refers to an online dictionary definition of the word skank, one who is disgustingly foul or filthy and often considered sexually promiscuous. It wasn't fun. It was terrible. And I was extremely humiliated and embarrassed. This internet lawyer says the case will change attitudes about web anonymity. Well, I suppose it's a rude awakening for internet users throughout Canada, the United States and the world in that many, uh, if not most, internet users believe and truly believe that uh, they are anonymous on the internet. Cohen says once she got the name, she realized the blogger was once an acquaintance. Now Cohen has launched a defamation lawsuit. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.